Yo guys, what is going on Tim Patel? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a really cool thumbnail for your YouTube videos. Now, yes, I have done a thumbnail tutorial in the past, but it's more of an up-to-date version, and I'll be showing you guys basically thumbnails that people are starting to do, like use now, um, and basically like people like Morgs, the Face Clan, and know do it. Basically, what it is is like an outline around the outside of like someone, like for example me, there'd be like an outline around the side of me, and then it just looked really cool, like a cartoony style. But yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to do that and hopefully by doing this you get more views more likes and then more subscribers so if you do enjoy the video hit the like button down below can we smash 300 likes on this video that would be amazing subscribe i think i already said that but I'll, anyway make sure you let me know what video you want to see from me next and yeah let's just get straight into it right guys so we're here in photoshop so the first thing you want to do is open up um, an image of yourself for the thumbnail so i'm just going to choose one that i've already had and we're just going to work with this. So the first thing we're actually going to do, we'll just uh, double click on that, press OK, so we can edit it. Um, we're going to add the outline first. In fact, no, we'll add some colour corrections. And by the way, guys, I just recorded this video and then halfway through it stopped record. No Photoshop closed. So yeah, I'm just starting it all over again. So yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, we're just going to add some CCs, what I usually do a small less for the curves and then for the brightness and contrast I just brought down the brightness a bit and then the contrast up a bit exposure bring up that a little bit bring up the offset and then bring up the gamma correction a bit as well so that's the basic color corrections that we've got at the moment just brings it just brings it all together looks really nice so next what we're gonna do is add a new layer below it <clears throat> I'm gonna add the, the um, the stroke around the outside so what we want to do is just go to the brush tool go to the 100 hardness and basically this the size of the brush will be the size of the stroke and what I'm doing right now is just holding control alt right click and then move left and right and you can basically increase and decrease the size of the brush so basically I want it to be around let's say that size that thickness that size is uh, 62 pixels. So you want to go back to the um, the pen tool, and I'm just going to go around it. I'll probably speed this part up because you guys don't want to watch this, I don't think. But I'm just going to show you guys for the beginners. If you've not used a pen tool before, basically you go on. You need to click from place to place. And for curves, if you don't know how to do that, you just click at the start, click where you want to finish, and then click in the middle. Hold Control, and then you can bring it up a bit. Or what you can do is click where you want to start and then where you want to finish and then hold and you can create another curve like that and then press alt um, to get rid of the other side because if I clicked again it would make a curve that just follow the anchor around so you want to press alt to get rid of it and then you can just create a new straight one like so and yeah I'll probably speed this part up um, yeah, so I'll see you guys once I've done it. so we have done that and basically I'm just gonna save it right now just so if, if it crashes I can just go back to it so tutorial thumb socket save on the desktop right so we've got the outline done next you just want to right click go to stroke path make sure it's on brush press ok then press backspace to get rid of all the anchors and then we've got the stroke and that looks really really cool so now we're just going to move on to um, adding like the colours and stuff. So we're going to add a nice brush at the top. Now this is where it crashed last time. I just clicked at the top and it crashed. Phew, I thought it was going to crash again. Jesus. I don't know why it's taking so long to do that. Never really does that. But anyway, there we go. Going to add a new layer. 
And then we're just going to add a shadow around the outside. I don't know why it's taking ages. It's weird. But anyway. Now we're just going to add like a colour in the background and behind behind the, the um, outline. So choose a colour. I think I'll go for blue. Can't go wrong with blue. And yeah. So we're just going to fill in the background. So we'll just we'll just use like a, a rectangle, square, whatever, rasterize that. And then we want to get rid of the middle part. So to do that, all we're going to do is just get the rubber. And we'll just rub out, out the middle. Pretty simple. It's probably an easy way. But I'm just doing this because... I just want to do it. I can't be bothered thinking. So just make sure the blue is all on the outside of the outline. There we go, and as, as you can see, I have rubbed out, rubbed out a bit on the outside as well, so I'm just going to fill that in with the brush. So there we go, that'll do. Now, we obviously want to change that. I want to make sure it's on something like, hmm, let's see, Lynyrd Dodge is alright. You can choose overlay if you want, and then you could duplicate it. I think that looks okay. So the next thing we're going to do is add a new layer, go to the white, and we're going to add some spots um, of overlay. So just in random places, make sure it's on overlay. Boom. That looks nice. You can also add, if you want, at the bottom, a blue overlay. Change that to like color dodge actually. That looks nice. You can also add like a, um, say because it's blue, you could like a water pattern in the background and change that to like overlay or something. Or what I like to do as always is add like electric because I just think that makes, it makes it more eye catching no matter what it looks like. As long as it's got electric on it, it looks good. So let's just open up a GFX pack. So, go to the electric, I think so. Never mind, the electric's not in here. Let's try that again. Hopefully it's... Should be in here somewhere, yep. Yeah. The electric. So it's blue. Add that in. Make it bigger. And what I like to do is actually pixelate it to make it more, I don't know, it looks really cool pixelated, this uh, electric. Like that. Looks really, really cool. Let's increase the size a bit. And then just like duplicate it, flip it. We'll put some over here as well. That's looking really nice. Um, and then we'll just add some more colour corrections for now. Just want to bring everything together. So you can just copy down what I'm doing right now. You can pause it. that together 
and as you can see yeah it does bring everything together that looks really nice and we just got a white spot at the top nice and then you can also add text on the side um, we'll just put for now we'll just put tutorial make sure it's like a bold font so something like let's try that again let's make it a bit bigger you can like rotate it as well And then we're just going to add a simple um, light style to it, like so. Add an inner glow to it, and could add a satin to it as well. Rasterize that, and then duplicate it and then the one below it bring it down a little bit press ctrl u and then make it a bit darker and it gives it like a cool 3d effect and then just bring it below everything and yeah then you've got the text there so that is the thumbnail that's pretty much it guys it's the outline tutorial with a really cool pixelated just like really nice background but yeah that's about it hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button if you did subscribe if you're new let me know what video you would like to see from me next and yeah hope you're having a sick day today and i'll see you guys in the next video